This is financial advisor Patrick Monroe talking about how to establish credit after Chapter 13. Well, chapter 13 really means Chapter 13 bankruptcy. And if an individual was to go bankrupt, which is a term that they can no longer pay their bills, and as a result, a debtor in possession is called in to take over everything that this individual has relative to credit, creditors will be paid out with the remaining assets that the individual has. If you had debts of a million dollars and only assets of twenty thousand dollars and you had ten creditors, uh, basically depending on the strength of each one of those creditors they'd receive pennies on the dollar. After your money is all gone then the uh, and pay your legal fees of course, uh, the lawyer would then uh, send off letters and everything would be discharged. Then there's a 10-year period that takes place uh, where your credit is really quite n uh, not good, if you will. But there are ways for you to establish credit after uh, Chapter 13, and they involve putting up cash assets as you come into cash uh, for collateral, and eventually creditors will begin to extend loans to you again. It's a long and drawn-out process. Try to avoid Chapter 13 at all costs. This is Patrick Monroe talking about how to establish credit after Chapter 13.